Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to see how you can create, modify, and delete a user object. An Active Directory user object represents a real user who is part of an organization's Active Directory network. Each object in Active Directory has a set of mandatory attributes, and the same applies for a user object as well. You can check out the user object's mandatory attributes using the Active Directory users and computers console. To do that, first, go to Server Manager, click on Tools, and then select Active Directory Users and Computers. Take any user object from here. Right-click on this user and click on Properties. A dialog box will appear that shows the user object's properties. Select the Attribute Editor tab. In this tab, click the Filter button. A submenu with a list of attribute types will pop up. From the menu, choose Mandatory. Now you will be able to see all the mandatory attributes. Now, let's see how you can create a user object. Going back to the Active Directory Users and Computers console, right-click on the console tree and click on New. From the list of objects that appear in the menu, select User. An object creation wizard will appear like so. In the wizard window, enter the value for various attributes of the user objects. Remember the mandatory attributes that you saw earlier. You will have to enter them all. Once done, click Next. In the next page of the creation wizard, enter the password for the user account. In this section, you will also be given the provision to configure the password policies for the user object. After you have set the password and configured the password policies, click Finish. And there you go. If you want to modify this user object or any user object, all you have to do is find the user in the console tree here. Right click on it and select Properties. And then, you can change the settings as you prefer, and click Apply and OK. You can also delete the user from here. Right-click on the user object, and then click Delete. Click Yes to confirm. Done. If you want a more detailed explanation of this process, and learn more about the various properties of the user object, you can check out our article given in the description below. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.